Hello, my name is Miguel Madrid, and this is my uh, news report number four. And today we're going to be talking about how in Kansas City they're allowing um, the family of a deceased black man to watch the um, the body cam footage that shows where his third son was killed in a um, in a routine traffic stop. Um, this happened in Kansas City, Kansas. And now the Kansas City, Kansas police are allowing family members to review the footage after an officer killed a black man during a traffic stop. This is a very big issue, of course, that we all know that's been going around in the country over the last couple of years. And just, I mean, you could date all the way back to the segregation that happened throughout the world, the our history. And I think we all are just ready for this to stop. I mean, a great example that how these police officers are taking the lives of these black innocent men or like the story of George Floyd that obviously led to the erupt uh, protests of the Black Lives Matter movement in 2020. Um, I feel like we took away that. Um, we took good things away from that because they were able to give the cause a voice um, that was being heard from the world and from the country, obviously. Um, the sad thing is that this young man was killed over a, a traffic stop and they believe that it's he was stopped because his tags his tar tags were um expired and for the police officer to see this and for it to lead to the death of a young innocent life it's just very disheartening and it if it doesn't make you think that we need to change then you might have a problem um I feel like this is also that a Kansas City officer um, by the name of Donna Drake said that the police officer involved was somehow slightly injured and was also taken into hospital. We don't know all the clear cut information off the article that I, I, I was using, but I feel like um, reading this, we just need uh, the police. The police should be there to protect the people, the community, not to kill them over a simple traffic stop. And I feel maybe hopefully down the road, there's going to be better, better training and just better people at the end of the at the other side of the gun that is killing these people. Thank you.